Hey guys, it's Cassie, and it's that time of year. I'm going to be talking to you about my best luxury purchases of 2021. Because uh, I've, I've done quite a bit of shopping this year, but these are my top 10. I have been ruthless. I have been brutal. I've been brutally honest with myself about the items that I've really gotten the most use out of. And therefore best, you know, sort of value for money, cost for wear, whatever, that have really pulled through in my collection. I've really sort of gravitated towards every time. Now, just because I haven't mentioned a certain item that I bought this year in this list, unless it turns up in my worst purchases, which will come, you know, in a couple of weeks time, it doesn't mean that I hate it, okay? It just means that I had to pick a top 10, okay? Okay? All of the links to these items will be below. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here so head down and subscribe turn on the bell become a member of our luxury addicted family when are we going to rehab <laughs> never guys are you ready let's go these are in no particular order however this is something that i got early on in 2021 and my gosh has she really pulled her weight <gasps> the prada crystal re-edition 2000 I feel like that's the sort of jingle that should be played every time this bag sort of gets brought out. But anyway, first of all, screens, pictures, videos do not do this bag justice, okay? Because at the moment you're like, oh yeah, she has rhinestones. No, 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 no. These are sparkling in real life. It is truly a showstopper an exceptional bag, okay? She commands attention. But what another thing that I really like about this bag, I really didn't expect it to, I didn't expect to love this aspect of it, is how easy it is. It is such just an easy to use bag, okay? She's actually pretty roomy. I've got one of those little bag pillows in here. Um, she's actually pretty roomy, right? You've got her on the crook of your elbow. She shimmies up to the top here. She gives you those very kind of like shoulder bag, 90, well, as the clue's in the name, 2000s vibes, right? And you don't necessarily put two and two together and like sparkles, grab and go, like a casual moment, but that is especially why I love this bag. I love this worn casually. Of course, of course, for an evening look, she's fabulous, she's appropriate. But for casual look, she just really gives that pizzazz, the panache, the, the, the level up to the outfit that's just so unexpected and fun. These came out in a few colours. This is obviously the black version. There was white. There's also a pink. And to be honest with you, more recently I've been seeing them kind of crop up here and there online. So all is not lost if you want one and you haven't been able to get your hands on them. Next up uh, is a pair of sneakers. And it was a tough one because I've brought two very like easy to wear sneakers this year. Ugh, I had to give it to the Dior B27s. Yes, I did. This is from the men's section. This, I don't even think they do this exact colorway anymore. They do a similar one. Links will be below. I cannot recommend these enough. Okay, first of all, let me just sort out the sizing. Yeah, these, I, I'm a women's size 39 shoe. I bought these in a 39 men's, perfect fit. Wouldn't, wouldn't adjust either way, okay? They come in a range of different colorways, really, really fun, interesting ones, and they're always kind of dropping more. These are so sodding comfortable, but at the same time, very substantially made. Chanel do a very similar style of trainer, but the Chanel ones feel a bit more flimsy on the foot. Are they comfortable? Yes, but they do feel a little bit more flimsy compared to this. It's got padding on the inside, you know, and all of that business. I love all the little Dior details. You have the oblique here, you have the CD on the tongue, you have the men's Dior font on the back there, you know, got the little Dior thing there and all, I just, all of that is just glorious. One thing I will say, I, look, I just don't get it. They crease. I don't know why this is a thing. I personally do not care if my things have creases. I kind of expect that to happen, but they do crease very easily. If that's something that bothers you, maybe you want to have a think about that, but the rest of us that don't care, go off sis, live your best crease life. And I shall. Items number three, my Simon G jewelry pieces. So we have my adjustable diamond necklace here and then the buckle bracelet that I got more recently here. 
I just love how easy it fits in with my other items. With fine jewellery as well, I'm somebody who, like, I take this off to sleep. But aside from this, I don't take any of my other things off, right? I don't necessarily like to switch out like, oh, today is Thursday. I'm going to wear this ring instead of that one. No, like, I have my setup and this is this is how we live life, you know? To disclaimer, I do work with Simon G Jewellery, so they do give me some credit as part of our contract that I spend on these things. But I just love how timeless the diamond pieces are while still doing something a little bit different, okay? And I had to include them because they are literally a part of my everyday life and um I love them okay next up if we're talking about use my Hermes belt kit that I got at Charles de Gaulle airport I love it I really do okay and I did have an Hermes belt in the past that I lost let's not and to be honest with you I think I'd spoken in a previous video about how I don't really think Hermes belts are worth it because I hadn't missed not having that belt after I'd lost it you know However, I recently decided that I want to get a new belt and I, and I picked this one up at the airport. First of all, she's a two in one, okay? Bottega green, smooth black, glorious. Also, she's not just Bottega green, but she's actually, I do believe that this is literally the same color as ivy. Okay, so they're both bamboo. This lighting, don't trust this lighting. The buckle as well, I wanted to go for an H that wasn't, a very obvious Hermes H so I went with this one that's like you know a horse bit kind of um situation and also the it's it's a gold but it's a very light gold it's not a very like in your face yellow gold um and again I just think that, that makes it very versatile for loads of outfits it, it gives a little something but it's really not intrusive it's not overly logoed and branded especially because some of the other things I have are and uh, we only need competition happening in our looks but I've just been really, really impressed with how much I've worn this and I would recommend. Next up, the Chanel Mini Vanity. I love this sodding thing. It makes me feel like a little Barbie princess, okay? That, that kills me every time. It's the two finger top handle. I can't, I can't deal with it. It's just too adorable. I really love this. I love the colour. I love that, especially for a tiny, like, TBE moment if it's a pop. It brings even more attention to this absolutely tiny, cute, adorable pint size. Not even pint size. This is a fun size thing, right? This actually, I'm not going to lie to you, is pretty roomy. This was absolutely love at first sight when I saw it on the runway. I just absolutely knew I had to have it. And I knew it had to be the pink. They did it in black and they did it in silver as well. And a white, actually. As people walk by, they'll be like, oh my gosh, is she wearing like a tiny, tiny Chanel little vanity? And they're like, oh my gosh, she is. And you're like, yes, I am. And I'm living my best life, you know? So um, I just absolutely adore it. This year, I bought two pairs of designer shorts. And it was a tough one to decide which to include in this video because both are fabulous and both I love and blah 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 but one of them really was like a casual queen and just served a look no matter how you just threw her on the Fendi Vertigo shorts okay these shorts are such a no-brainer all you need to do is put a plain top and some you know simple-ish kind of shoes and you're done you can dress her up for an evening and then you can have her casual flip flopping by the pool i don't know your life also the canvas is really like hard wearing and everything sometimes with designer ready to wear the materials are so like luxurious and like beautiful and it's like silk and it's like if i sit on something we're screwed you know and this is an expensive pair of shorts not this these are hard wearing these are great i love the fact that they have sort of two but i don't know why don't ask me why i'm kind of into the fact that there is two and I just also the cut is really flattering on um, a lot of body shapes because it's not too tight or restrictive. You feel free. It looks cute. What more do you want? Oh, I love them. And I've been wearing these to death. The Renee Calvia Clio boots. These I have been so impressed with. Hard wearing. The leather is lovely and soft. The sodding crystals. They just bring a little bit of something, a little bit of the unexpected into an everyday look. I love the fact that the crystals are black as well because it gives something without being like too much, especially for a shoe. You've got that. Oh my gosh, just a peek, just a peekaboo. Hello, good evening. I haven't had any crystals fall off. 
None. None. And I have not been kind to these, okay? I have been walking around like nobody's business and nothing. Nothing at all. They are my go-to. Oh, I'm sorry, is there a chill in the air? Thank you. Get me my sodding Renee Calvia Cleo boots on. She's ready to give us a look. Okay, next up. My Gucci tote from the Multicolor Collection. I love this and she is a true workhorse, okay? She is currently filled with, um, I've told you, like I have my like travel essentials always packed as though I'm some sort of super spy that at the drop of a hat I could get a text being like, we need you in Munich at 10, you know? Um, I don't know why I live my life like that because that's not my life. I love her as an alternative to the Dior book tote. As fabulous as that bag is, you know what? It's just not me, to be honest with you. And this is so much more me. I love the fact that the handles are leather. Everything is very well made. And even though the canvas is not coated, I don't feel like I have to baby it at all, okay? It's hard wearing, it's gonna do the job, just don't, you know, like, spill coffee on it. It's got leather at the bottom, is so you don't need to worry about the bottom being stained or anything. I love the fact that there's closure. Don't we all love a little bit of closure in our lives? I love the fact that, yeah, you can nip her all together. There's two inside pockets. There's two inside pockets. I currently use a bag organizer for her that's actually for the Dior book tote, so, so the sizing of them is exactly the same. I don't think that they do this color anymore, but they do do similar. They will be linked below. Give it a sodding look. It's also a lot cheaper than the book tote. Bow, 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 bow. The Mac and Mac. Did we ever have clarity on if it's Mach and Mach, Mac and Mac, Match and Match? I think it's Mac and Mac, whatever. Absolute showstoppers. I have not come across a shoe quite like this. And I think that loads of other brands can try. You won't be able to do something like this. These are truly exceptional. These sparkle like nothing else. Much like the kind of Prada ones, the sparkle on these is crazy. And it's actually because of how the crystals are set. It's almost in like a glue and they're set like all the way around. So no matter what angle the light is hitting you, there is sparkle happening. These are high impact. They now come in a range of colors. I obviously have the black. I'm glad that I got the black actually because it, it goes with a lot of my wardrobe. <sighs> people have, loads of people have asked me like, are they comfortable? To be honest with you, comfort is not one of my priorities when it comes to shoes because I just get lured into how pretty they are. But they're not, they're not crippling. They're not painful. Are they the most comfortable shoe in the world? No. Yeah, you know. Spoiler alert. They will also be making an appearance in my worst purchases of 2021 for one specific reason. But don't let that reason kind of like put you off. And I'll say that in, the, in that video because they are just so sodding stunning and no other shoe can compete with this, truly. If you're looking for a high octane, sparkly, oh my gosh, what's happening at her feet? I absolutely love it. It's Mac and Mac or nothing. Oh my gosh, what's this? We're at number 10 and we've, we've not mentioned one very obvious thing that would have been my best purchase of this year. Oh my gosh, is she going to forget it? I waited seven months for this and she was worth every sodding minute. This is the jacket from the Hacker Project, Gucci Balenciaga. I absolutely love it, I really do. Once again, the cut of this jacket is just so easy and throw on and go, all right? You can be wearing the most boring outfit in the world. You put this jacket on, done. She's serving a look, why? Because everybody's looking at the jacket, nobody's looking at everything else, okay? I love the black panelling. I think it kind of gives a little something interesting, just a little bit more dimension to the jacket instead of it just completely being the logos and whatever. You have, you know, the hood situation, which, you know, it rains here. If I'm caught in the rain, I don't have an umbrella. Fair enough, right? Uh, I'm not, it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but what hood is you know me i'm a sucker for like a limited edition something but also this is such a piece that yes when i have children they can be i'm borrowing that jacket and i'll be like the hacker project you don't even know what that was you don't even have the appreciation for what that was at the time but go on and flex at your party right this is a pass me down piece 
some families have heirlooms. Some families pass down art. I will pass down clothes, shoes and bags, okay? <laughs> Guys, let me know what you thought of my best 2021 purchases. Let me know what your best purchases of 2021 are in the comments, please. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. In the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.